Hi everyone, Squintino here, and today we're going to be talking about Fisher. This was originally supposed to be a controller guide, but it somehow turned into a fishing guide that just happens to have a controller setup in it too, so it could even be useful for some mouse and keyboard players as well. This is because my Fisher setup is actually one of my most extensive setups, and it's impossible to describe it without explaining fishing, so I had to use a different format for this video. First will be an explanation of fishing as a whole, with the controller setup sprinkled in. Second will be an explanation of spearfishing. The third will be a special AFK setup. This special setup is mainly for controller users. There may be a follow-up video specifically on ocean fishing achievement macros. So let's talk about how to actually fish. To catch a fish, first you need to put on a bait, which I have on my double cross hotbar because you're typically not changing it all the time. For those who do not know, the double cross hotbar is a special hotbar you access by pressing your trigger twice. You can configure it in character customization, hotbar settings, cross, and custom. Mine is set to hotbar 3. And if you want to get treasure maps, you will also need salvage. There's also something called snagging, which some fish require, but the only way to know for sure is to look it up first. So those three actions are used to affect which fish or items can be caught. Do note that you can tell if a spot is fishable because the cast icon lights up. Fish eyes, chum, patience, and patience 2 will also light up if it's fishable. You then need to cast your rod. Once you get a tug, which will have a tug symbol of either 1, 2, or 3 exclamation points, you use hook to reel it in. Fishing did not always have those tough markers, so it used to be that people really liked using cast light to see if they had any activity on their fishing rod. This is not quite as necessary anymore, but it still looks nice, and you can use it to double check if you actually did cast your rod out. You might notice I don't have cast and hook on my bars, at least not without macros. So let's introduce you to the first macro, it's called Simple Fish. What it does is combine hook and cast into one action. The fact is, you cannot cast if you're hooking, and in order to hook, you first need to cast. This means those two actions are never available at the same time. So other than seeing the icon light up, there is no real reason why they need to be separate. To stop fishing, you can either move your character or use quit. For this perspective, quit is not very useful but there will be another perspective later, so we'll be talking about quit again. When you fish, you have a chance of getting a high quality fish based on your perception rating. This can be increased by using patience or patience 2. Patience increases your high quality chance by 50%, while patience 2 increases it by 80%. Patience 1 is shorter and costs way less GP than patience 2, so there are still times when you might want to use patience 1, so it's good to keep both of them. You will also notice that Patience 2 says it increases the likelihood of getting larger fish. Let's be clear, there are special fish in this game called Big Fish. This has absolutely nothing to do with that. This is literally referring to the size of the fish you end up catching, which we'll talk about later for collectibles. Patience 2 does not have any effect on the fishing rate for rare fish. You might also notice that Patience and Patience 2 lower your rate of hooking success, which at first sounds really bad, but these can be undone via the next two actions, Precision Hook Set and Powerful Hook Set. So when you have Patience or Patience 2 on, you will want to hook via the hook sets and not using the regular hook action. These will also cause GP, though not too much. But how can you tell which hook set you should use? Well, it's mostly simple. If you get a single tug, you will use Precision Hook Set. If you get a two tug, you use Powerful Hook Set. But if you see a three tug, most of the time you will use Powerful. There are a few three tug fishes that do use Precision, and unfortunately, you will have to look this up. However, all of those would be big fish or legendary fish. So you would be looking up information about them anyway, whether it's do they need to be mooshed or what baits. So you would see that. These hook sets are only available when Patience or Patience 2 are on, since that's what they're meant for. So 
What is high quality used for anyway? Well, for leveling, high quality gives you a lot more experience. And for ocean fishing, it gives you more points. But mainly, it's used for something called mooching. Mooching is when a fish you caught can be reused to catch another fish. The game will tell you if a fish is moochable, and there are two actions that will let you mooch. The regular mooch action will only be available if a fish is high quality. The other one is called mooch two, and it will allow you to mooch a fish even if it is normal quality, but it does have a GP cost and a cooldown. This is why patience and patience two, and by association the two hook sets, are important for catching any fish that requires mooching. If you're looking at my hotbars, you might have noticed something else though. Not only do I have the hook sets as normal actions, I also have them in macros. Well, it's because I do have macros for simplifying mooching, fishing, and I keep those on the right bar. The first one is patient small. You can see I use macro lock because you don't want this resetting if you spam it. You want it to go through the entire macro each time. And I have macro error off because I want to reduce error messages as much as possible. It basically uses a priority system. If Mooch 2 is available, use it. Otherwise, try Mooch. If Patience 2 is available, use that. It's very important that Mooch is above Patience 2, as if you get a moochable fish while you also have enough GP to cast Patience 2, well, Patience 2 will cancel your Mooch. Then it will try to do a Precision Hook set, a cast, or a hook. What this means is that this can be used to refresh your patience too once you have enough GP, to use your hook set, but also to use the regular hook if you're out of GP or patience too isn't on. The other macro, patient big, is the same just for the other hook set. So with these two macros, I can do mooching fishing with just two buttons and it will handle my mooching, casting, hooking, and patience too refresh. It's really neat. But you might be wondering, why do I have the regular ones on the left, and why don't I have Patience 1 in the macro? Unfortunately, the game will let you use Patience 1 and 2 even if you already have their buffs up. So let's say you have 900 GP, and you use Patience 2, and then you use Patience 1. It's going to waste your GP and use Patience 1. As such, if you are planning on using Patience 1, I'm sorry, but you should do it manually. Or I suppose you can make your own macro. It also means that, once again, an example of 900 GP, and you use Patience 2, and then a cordial, bringing you back up over 560, it's going to waste your GP and use Patience 2 again, even though it's already up. This is quite horrible as GP is a precious resource, so you would want to first get your GP down to 400 or lower before you start mindlessly using this macro as then it would be safe to do since it would only do it as it regenerates enough GP over time. However, if you use a cordial, you should once again go back to manually fishing until you get back down to 400 GP or lower before you resume using this lazy macro version. I also have a safe mooch fish macro, which just has mooching, casting, and hooking. This means all of the mooching in that macro is determined by luck. This is mostly for mindlessly earning points in ocean fishing spectral currents without trying to optimize, or just catching a bunch of fish regardless of what they are, which can be useful for certain achievements. This is also why I have the simple fish macro on both sides, so if you need to revert back to just regular casting and hooking, you don't have to switch sides. Let's talk about Chum now. Chum reduces how much time the next cast action will take. This can reduce your time spent waiting on a fish, but it does come with a few drawbacks. The first is that it costs a fair bit of GP, 145 per cast adds up really quickly. The second is that many fishing resources will have cast time in seconds. If you really want to get deep into fishing and keep a timer, Chum will throw that all off and almost no resources keep Chum timings. Chum has one primary purpose, and that's big fish fishing, but not just any kind. If a fish does not require mooching, that means you don't need to use patience 1 or 2. That frees up all of your GP for chumming, 
This is especially useful for fish with very short window times of 2 or 5 minutes. You will notice I have both the regular chum and a chum macro, so let's go over them. The chum macro is a one-button fishing macro. It will chum and automatically cast for you. You can then also use it to hook. If there is no chum available, it will try to cast immediately, so the two-second timer will not hurt you. This makes this a very mindless macro, especially if the fish has a long window. Not only that, but by having it on the left side of the d-pad, you can actually use it one-handed, leaving your right hand for whatever else you want to do. Getting a non-moochable big fish has never been so easy. So why is there a regular one too? Well, if you're going after those fish with those very short windows of 2 or 5 minutes, you can actually use chum in advance before the window starts, and let your GP regenerate, which could possibly get you an extra chum. As long as you don't move or quit, it will not disappear. Just make sure when the window does start, you do not use the macro, as then it will use the chum again, and wasting your GP. So in that case, you would want to use chum ahead of time, use your regular fishing, such as simple fish, and then start using the chum macro for the rest. Okay, so you know how to cast, how to mooch, and how to chum. But what if you want to get more of the same fish you already got? Well, there are two actions. Identical cast will guarantee you will catch the same fish again. It doesn't work on certain fishes. Double hook will allow you to get more fish when you hook, so instead of getting one fish, you will get two or more. Because of this, it can be pretty common, especially in ocean fishing, to use identical cast and then double hook back to back, to guarantee you can double hook a fish you want. However, this is extremely costly in GP. Identical cast or double hook can also be used for intuition fish. There are certain fishes that can only be caught if you earn a buff called Fisher's Intuition. That buff is earned by catching some other fish multiple times. Because of this, we'll talk about one more action. Fish eyes. Fish eyes does not increase your yield, but it does ignore time requirements for one minute. Do note that it does not ignore weather requirements. This can be useful if an intuition fish and its associated legendary fish have slightly differing time requirements, and extending by one minute could just give you the chance you need to finish. Because of its high GP requirement, it can actually be really hard to use it if you're already spending that GP on other actions. There are also times when you don't want to catch a fish at all, whether it's because it can trigger something you don't want, like a spectral current in ocean fishing, or because it will affect the buff you're already on, or maybe you're short on GP and hook sets do cost GP, so why waste one on a tug you know you don't need? Or maybe it's just because you don't want to waste time and hooking a fish does take longer than ignoring one. If you wish to ignore a specific fish, you can use Surface Slap. This will stop that fish from being possible until you catch another fish. This might seem useless at first, since it only lasts until your next catch. However, if on your next cast, it's not the tug you need, you can just ignore the tug, and therefore not catch anything, and your surface slap buff will remain. This can make surface slap very powerful if you're aiming for a specific tug with only a few, ideally only two, possible fish, especially if you want to be able to use a double hook without wasting precious GP on identical cast. And therefore, it is important to also learn how to ignore a tug. First, you can use quit, or just move, and this will put away your rod. The other option is to just not reel it in, just don't use hook. And I did do some tests on how long it takes for both options, and while quit certainly feels longer mentally, because you do see the animations, the time between when you use it and when you can cast again is actually about the same as if you ignored it, provided you quit right away. If you waited even a couple seconds before deciding, you know what, I don't want this fish, in that case you might as well just keep waiting. If quit is done right away, it is about the same time.
The other time you may want to catch less is if you looked up how long a fish you need is available for. And you look at your timer and you see that, well, I can't get this anymore, so I might as well cancel it. So if you want to cancel, you have two options. You can quit or move, or you can just press hook, even though there is no fish reeled in at all. Hook actually does seem a bit faster, but if you're just unlucky in the right way, and as you press it, you happen to get a tug, now you could end up wasting a lot of time, especially if it ends up being a, a three tug or even a two tug. This is the main reason why I do keep quit as it's just safer to do so when canceling a cast. There is one more action that sort of does help you catch less, and that's release. Release automatically causes you to throw away fish you've caught, but it does not stop that fish from being a possibility. It just helps your inventory, it doesn't affect fishing rates, and it doesn't help you with double hooking. While it is certainly fairly fast, it's still an extra animation each time you catch that fish that you don't want, slowing you down. There is a good use for this, and that's if you are very prone to accidents. For example, if there is a fish you want to make sure you do not mooch or identical cast on. But you've noticed that maybe sometimes you make mistakes a lot. Well, you can use release on it. The time lost in the animation is far less costly than the time, and possibly GP, lost from having an accident. We still have two more actions for regular fishing, and one of them is collect. This is on my expanded hotbar. For those who are not familiar, this is a bar that is accessible by pressing left and right trigger, or right and left trigger, together. This is also in character configuration, hotbar, custom. Mine is set to hotbar 2. In this setup, this hotbar is used for things we do not use too much. The right side also has menu shortcuts that are likely to be used for fisher. Collect allows you to catch fish as collectibles, which gives you points based on how big the fish is, and you can hand that in for scripts. Since there is something you toggle on, and then you go back to your primary actions, there was no particular reason to have it on the primary bar. You could also put it on the double hotbar if you would prefer that. High quality fish are already fairly large, but if you use patience 2, it can be extra large for more collectability. Patience 1 doesn't have this extra buff. It is better to use patience 2 for collectability farming. As an extra reminder, just because there are so many people who get this wrong, the part in patience 2 that talks about larger fish is specifically about the size of the fish you are catching. It is used for fishing records and for collectibles and does not have anything to do with increasing the rates of catching legendary fish. I personally also have a sound macro. This toggles my BGM, ambient sounds, and performance. It also raises my sound effects to 100 and turns off other people's sound effects. This is because for a long time I did not have controller vibration working, so I used sound a lot to fish without looking at my screen, because I had a wireless headset. It's still useful for telling when I can recast. If you're wondering why I have a button for user macros, that's kind of useful ocean fishing. The left side of the expanded has the cross-class actions for miner and botanist. If that's something you really wish to have, it's entirely optional, and to be perfectly honest, not extremely useful. I'm just a person that likes having things on my hotbars, even for niche uses. If you would rather have different types of foods there, that's probably even more useful than what I have. The last action is sneak. You can choose not to have it. Up to you. Next up, let's talk about my least favorite type of fishing, spear fishing. It combines the things I don't like about regular fishing and the things I don't like about the other gatherers into one. Woohoo! Going to talk controller stuff for a minute. Sorry, mouse and keyboard users. Fishing is one of the few setups where I use a different type of hotbar switching. While in all other setups, I do use the double cross hotbar and the expanded, this is going to be the first setup where I use the quick swap. So what is that? You probably know that you can press your hotbar swap button, by default R1, and specify a hotbar. That's the slow swap, since having to specify a hotbar will slow you down. But if you press the swap button and you don't specify a hotbar, it will go to the next available non-empty hotbar. This is the quick swap. You can also go to Character Customization 
custom to specify which hotbars are allowed. Fishing isn't in battle, so it's considered sheathed. I have my quick swap set to only allow hotbars 1, 4, and 8. 1 is to go back to my primary, 4 will be the spear fishing bar, and 8 is my macro menu. So my quick swap never goes to bars 2 or 3, even though I do have actions on them. This means if I decide to torture myself and do some spear fishing, I can just quick swap to hotbar 4, and now it becomes my primary. Okay, controller talk all done. Let's talk about actions now. Gig head is essentially the bait for spear fishing. There are three of them. To find a fishing node, you can use Shark Eye and Shark Eye 2. This works just like with Miner and Botanist, which is why I have them in the same spot. And just like with those other gatherers, Fathom is what allows you to see the nodes on your minimap, and Truth of the Oceans allows you to see special nodes. Those two are on by default. When you engage a fishing node, you wait for the bubbles, and you use Gig. This will catch a fish, and you use up an attempt. This is just like regular gathering, except your items are semi-random, and you can't quick gather. Since I absolutely despise spear fishing, I do not use this part of the setup very often, so feel free to move things around if it feels awkward. Identical gig will get you the same fish again on your next gig. Bountiful catch increases your next yield, and the veteran trade stops the fish from being part of your next gig. These are somewhat similar to identical cast, double hook, and surface slap, so I kept the same pattern. There is also calm waters, which gives you back a used attempt. Nature's bounty increases the chance of a large catch on the next attempt. Just like with patience 2, this has nothing to do with changing fish rates. This just means your next fish will be larger, which increases its chance of being HQ, high quality, and also increases its collectability if you're doing it for collectibles. You might also notice that for spearfishing, my setup is on the left and not on the right. Normally, I do favor the right side, but because this bar has so few actions, and we do use the mount a fair good amount, I figured I would keep it on the same side as the mount. AFK Fishing This is a special setup aimed specifically at doing fishing entirely using vibration. No sound or video. Part of me wanted to call it vibration fishing, but that just sounds so wrong, so it's called AFK fishing. Assuming you have vibration turned on and your controller supports it, there is a vibration when you get a tug. However, different tugs have different hook durations, so you have to listen for when you can cast again. The other option is to use the separate hook and cast, the ones that come you know, natively in the game, and to spam cast for up to 15 seconds after a hook. I found this to be too much effort for a true AFK experience. Plus, if I'm not paying attention anyway, I might as well use my GP on Chum. This is great for big fish with very long time windows, but very low success rates. So let's go over the macro. First, it tries to use Chum, but if Chum is not available, it will try to either cast or hook, whichever is available. It waits 2 seconds and will reattempt a cast if it can then waits 8 seconds and will do a charm and a cast. If this sounds weird, let me explain it in a different way. The first time it is used, it will do a charm, wait 2 seconds for the animation, then use a cast. When you feel that tug, it will do a hook. It will skip that first cast after 2 seconds, since you'll still be in hook animation, and will end up doing the charm plus cast that is 8 seconds later. This means that after the first cast, you only need to press the button when you feel the vibration, and it will do everything else for you. Do note that if you reel in a 3-tug, which has a very long and powerful vibration, it will not successfully recast for the chum and cast, but it should still be done by the time the very last cast in the macro arrives. If you're noticing that you haven't felt vibrations in a while, either you've run out of bait, or you need to move. So just go back to your computer or PS4 do your adjustments, and then you can go back to AFK fishing. There might be a video specifically about ocean fishing achievement hunting. I did use timing macros that are specific to some of the achievements, so I slow swap into hotbar 6. I simply keep double hook, identical cast, and surface lap, as well as a simple fish macro, and then place the appropriate timing macros. 
But as far as this video goes, this is the end, and hopefully I kept it under 30 minutes. Let me know if I missed anything, and do check the description for some fishing resources. Also, let me know what you think of this format, as I'm starting to plan for the next expansion, and perhaps I will use this format for the battle job setup next expansion too.